So for the past week, I've been playing the new Dead, Dead Space, Space remake remastered. that just came out, and I've really been enjoying it. It's an incredibly polished, excellent action horror game. But there's one feature in this game that I really wanted to make a video about because I'm fascinated by everything about its existence. So buried in the settings of this Dead Space remaster is this setting called Hide Disturbing Scenes. And at first I assumed this was just like a simple option to like skip particularly violent cutscenes. Um, it is not that. In fact, it is quite a bit stranger than that. Here, here's the wording that the game uses to describe this. Quote, hides the most disturbing scenes behind a screen effect. So as soon as I read that, I was immediately curious. Like, I need to know what this actually looks like. What do they mean by a screen effect? So I turned it on and started playing through the game, and it is so much weirder than I possibly could have guessed. The first time I encountered this, the first time I had this flipped on, uh, is relatively early in the game. There's a scene where this scientist is like behind glass in an operating room, and she does kind of the classic horror movie tropey thing where she, in a spooky way, like stares at you while she slits her own throat. Gives herself a, a bad boo boo. By the way, Isaac's reaction in this scene, at least in my playthrough, is insane. Oh, uh, uh. Like, like, who reacts, reacts to somebody, somebody slitting their own throat that way? Giving their own boo-boo! Anyways, I turn on the filter to see how this scene would be different, and they literally just put, like, a big sensor blur square over her for the duration of this boo -boo. suicide. And then after she's done slitting her own throat, the square vanishes, and you can see, like, all the blood that she squirted all over the glass and all the guts, like, behind her. Like, it, it just, it is just this brief little moment that is covered up, and then everything before and after it is intact. Now, that's interesting enough on its own. I don't think I've seen, like, real-time, in-game blurring or censorship of this caliber since the penis that they censored out of Far Cry 4. Um, but it turns out there's more to it than that. You can walk up to, like, a, any dead NPC on the spaceship and hit the stomp button and immediately stomp all their arms and legs off, and none of this is even remotely censored because it's not a cutscene, it's a thing in the gameplay. I love, I'm fine with all the dismemberment and the blood and the guts and the vomiting, but those cutscenes are just a, just a little bit too yucky for me. I'd, I'd, I'd play it if it weren't for those. Now, one of the weird silver linings of me uploading this video to YouTube multiple times over the course of a month is I've gotten the chance to see some of y'all's comments, and I've seen two theories that you guys have about why this feature exists in the game that I think are really interesting. Like, there's a moment in game where you walk into this room and there's a dude on an operating table and just like a chunk of his torso is out. It's gone. He's just like moaning and dying on this operating table. And it's completely, even with that filter on, it's uncensored. So the question is like, who is this for? Like, if I'm being honest, and again, I love the game, I'm really enjoying my time with it, I recommend it, I think it's fun. If you liked Dead Space, if you like action horror games, great game, worth playing. But I just, to me, this feature seems to exist so that they can say they did it. In other words, it exists to have this sort of pseudo-inclusive accessibility option as a checkbox on the list of features, and to say, like, oh, we have this for people who want to play that way, but I just don't think they succeeded. I think it doesn't make the game less disturbing if you want to play, for whatever reason, a undisturbing version of Dead Space, you know? Like, fundamentally, I don't have a problem with this feature existing. I'm sure there are plenty of games where this would make sense. Maybe there's people who, you know, want to play Call of Duty and don't want to perform a mass shooting at an airport. That's totally your prerogative. Perform a mass boo -boo. shooting at an airport. That's totally your prerogative. You can turn those features on if you want. But in this game, like, it fundamentally just doesn't make sense. And not only does it not make sense, it literally doesn't function. If you're somebody, if you're somebody who, finds who finds blood and gore blood and disturbing, gore, disturbing, you probably shouldn't, you play, probably Dead shouldn't play Dead Space. Because even with this option on, with this option you're going to see a, you're gonna see a lot a of it. And uh, I just thought this was funny. Thank you for watching. Sorry I talked for so long. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>